David Frederick Wingfield Werner Born July the 11th, 1884 That means if he hadn't have died on August 21st, 1992, he would have turned 136 years old last month. 136 years old. Hmm, that's about how old he seemed to me when I first met him in 1974. Ricky Jay had this to say about his mentor. Di Vernon, the greatest sleight of hand figure in the history of the art. Rarely performed, but he invented magic and had an enormous influence on the whole range of sleight of hand. And so often, the magic he was doing was to fool other magicians. I first heard about Di Vernon from my magical mentor, Ken Brook. Di had cut Ken's silhouette during a lecture tour of America, and it hung in pride of place in Ken's magic studio in London. It was in that studio Ken taught me the linking rings. Ken never mentioned that the Ken Brook routine was 90% Di Vernon's Symphony of the Rings. That was fairly classic Ken Brook. I got to know Mr. Vernon pretty well once I arrived at the Magic Castle. Di was very appreciative of my close-up magic, but couldn't understand why I felt any need to add comedy to my magic. Of course, Vernon never needed to make a living performing magic for a lay audience. My favorite memories of Di were the occasions I would take him to the 24 hours Hughes Market on Sunset Boulevard in the early hours of the morning after the castle had closed. Helping him navigate his grocery cart around the store and fill it with items of food was another whole side of the professor. He often gave me strangely random pieces of advice he had a wealth of knowledge and loved to share it. Here are a few Vernon quotes I really like. Most magicians consider the palm an easy move to make. They are inclined to believe that they are getting away with it, when they are, in fact, just fortunate enough to have a polite audience. And in magic today, as always, the effect is what counts. The method or methods used are always purely secondary. Another quote is so common nowadays that most magicians don't even know it was originated by Vernon. Don't run when you're not being chased. But my favorite piece of advice is one of his simplest. Be natural. Have a great belated birthday, Mr. Vernon. Magic wouldn't have been the same without you. <laughs>